Welcome to another Mobotics video tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to configure a meta event, and more specifically, a meta event logic. Meta events are one more intelligent feature of Mobotics IoT cameras. The event logic feature permits testing source events for the order of occurrence. The event is triggered if one of the events selected in event set A and one of the events selected in event set B occur within the specified maximum time window. The order of occurrence is optional. It does not necessarily need to be part of the evaluation. For this tutorial, we will be using a S74 with a thermal sensor, and we will be triggering thermal events. Let's configure the camera. To do so, we need to go to the Setup menu, Event Overview, and now we will create a thermal radiometry event. Give it a convenient name. Select the type and set the measurement area. Following, we will do the appropriate settings and set the thermal level. Now that we are done with the configuration, we need to press set. We go back to the event overview to create the second event needed. In this case, we will do an activity sensor event. Under image analysis events, press edit. Add a new profile. Set an appropriate name. Set the event dead time and select MX Activity Sensor as your event sensor type. Change the sensitivity if needed and set the detection area. When you are done, press set and go back to the event overview again. Now we will create the meta event. Under the meta event section, press edit. Add new profile, give it a name, and select event logic. Here we need to select the two sets of events. Our goal is to trigger an alarm only when there is fire and no movement. For example, the heat source coming from a vehicle's exhaust pipe should not trigger an alarm since it's not an actual fire, although it is hot enough. So as event A, we will select the environment event fire. As event B, the activity sensor event. Now to establish the order of occurrence, we need to select event A and not event B. This means that as long as event B is active, the meta event won't be activated. Only after event B stops being triggered, then event A is still activated. We will get the alarm in this case. Press set after all the parameters fit your needs and store the configuration. Next, we go back to the setup menu and select the action group overview. Here we will use the predefined visual alarm group. After we enable, we will edit its settings. As an event, select the meta event we created earlier. Next, select the action you want your event to trigger. Here we will use the visual alarm. Press set and close to store the settings permanently. 
Now let's test the meta event. The heat source appears, but it is moving. That's why no red frame is appearing. As soon as the heat source stops moving and the thermal event is activated, the alarm is triggered. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.